Mike Abdul, I'm a singer, I'm a songwriter, and uh, gospel music record label executive. That's who I am, and that's what I do. A little bit about my journey into music. Well, I'm going to start with my dad. My dad played a lot of records in the house. Um, he loved a lot of them. <laughs> he loved Ebenezer Obe, he loved King Sonny Ade, he loved Fela. We had a lot of Fuji in the house, you understand what I'm saying? And uh, somehow I think my best was King Sonny Ade. <laughs> I loved his, the way he danced. I loved his charisma. I just pretty much liked everything about King Sonny Ade. That was it for me. So somehow I, I just found out that my, my frequency and the frequency of the people in the records resonated. So from loving to sing their song to loving them, then I found that I actually wanted to sing like them. And uh, I started doing that in probably in the bathroom, my closets, you know. And then one day, maybe mistakenly or not, I sang and some people heard me and they'd be like, where have you been all our lives? You know, comments like that kind of formed the uh, endorsements for me. They were like um, endorsements, they were, they were like approvals. The man, you got something different. You, you have something we love, uh, yeah, a solution to us, you know. And, and I loved it, so I decided to, to, um, to go into it, you know. Um, somehow, in doing it, cha yeah, from one school to the other, I went to Yaba College of Technology, where I met members of Midnight Crew. And I always love to say Destiny found us, because for me, it was where Destiny started. You know, I started finding expressions. I, started, I, I found people who had like minds, you know. Um, and uh, we had purpose, so we moved with that purpose and vision. And uh, that's how it started for me. That's how the journey has been. And uh, we are here. <laughs> Why music? Music, because it first started as a passion. It was a passion, first of all, and uh, what can make passion different or what can make passion have impact is now direction. So you must give purpose to the passion. Tell the passion, this is how to go. This is what to do. So I found purpose. So I used I, I started using my music to promote godliness in the land. I decided I'm using my music to promote godliness everywhere I go. I want to use my music to promote godliness in my community, in my society, promote godliness in the existing cultures. I want to influence your culture and tell your culture how to behave. My role on the GGTQ show is coach. That's it, coach. I'm gonna be your coach. That's what I wanna be. I want um, an exchange between us. You give to me and I give to you. I want to hear you. I wanna feel you and I wanna be able to tell you, um, okay, do some appraisal of what you've done and then score you. Yes, I want to be able to impact you too. I want to be able to uh, relate my experiences with you so that you take off on a pedestal. You have an advantage. Information is advantage. I want to be able to give you a lot of information. I'm Coach. I'm Coach Mike. One word, how I work. I choose discipline. I heard from a great man, grace is God's investment in you. Discipline is your investment in yourself. Discipline.
Well, my advice, professional advice to anyone who wants to do what I do is it's gospel music. And when I say gospel music, it has everything to do with God. That is where to start from. It has to be God. You have to make your decision with God. Make your decision with God that this is how we roll. This is what we are doing. I am working with the Holy Spirit and we're taking off from here. Decision making is your first. Whose report shall we believe? You believe it. See, it is what God has told you that you run with. That is what keeps you. It says, write the vision, make it plain. That is what will not make you tired. That is what will keep you consistent. And it is only consistency that makes you believable. God bless you. If not music, I suspect that um, I would have just remained in heaven. I would not have been born. I have no idea what it would have been. It is this music or oh, music. <laughs>
Uh, but if we continually renew our minds, I don't see the limits. I don't see it. Mm -mm. My expectation from uh, the participants is I want to be able to, to see you transform from just talent to purpose. People have talent. What makes you different is purpose. <laughs> That's what makes you different. You can have passion, but if you don't have direction, your passion can burn you out. So you must give direction to the passion. When direction is given to passion, that's what they call vision. I, am I speaking to somebody? <laughs> so that's what they call vision. Um, so I expect to see that sense of purpose. Um, um, it's easy to want to compete. But see, in competition, there will always be someone who is better than you. But when you receive a word, when you have ministry and purpose, you're not afraid of who sang before you because you have come with a mission. I'm waiting for you. Woo! I'm super excited. My name is Mike Abdul again. Ah, GGTQ. I want to make sure you're registered. If you are not registered, please, you are sitting on a, hmm, you're sleeping on a bicycle. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, I can't wait to have you. I cannot wait to have you. I cannot wait to share my experiences with you. All right? Uh, this is a platform that is created for you to learn. Learn a lot of stuff that would uh, impact you for the rest of your journey. This is your journey. And this platform is here to give you a pedestal to take off. Come and take off. I cannot wait to have you. God bless you real good as you turn up. Uma Dungo. It's all about the gospel. Come on. Gospel Groove. It's all about the gospel.